Hello everyone, I am Diksha, a fourth year medical student from Nepal and today I will be giving some book recommendations for first year MBBS students of Nepal but it can be relevant for anyone across the world with similar study curriculum. Since first year is full of uncertainties and just figuring out what and how to study, I will try to make it a little bit easier by giving some book recommendations and a little disclaimer that this is solely my personal opinion and you have uh, full right to uh, choose what resource you want to study. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, let's talk about anatomy, uh, which is a very vast subject in a sense that uh, we need to refer to so many books just to study the single subject. Uh, I would like to start with the general anatomy since our um, the first system in our university is the general concepts. So for general anatomy, uh, this small handbook of general anatomy by B.D. Chaurasia which comes along with the set of four uh, plus the class slides, the combination of these two are more than enough to understand and to replicate in the exams as well. Uh, now for the musculoskeletal system, I personally use the Gray's Anatomy uh, for students and the most of the students, they prefer the B.D. Chaurasia's uh, Human Anatomy for the musculoskeletal system. Uh, I chose the Gray's Anatomy because the diagrams were beautiful and they were easy to visualize and the origin and the insertions and the nerve supply, blood supplies, they were given in a concise manner in this uh, in this uh, book whereas um, in the BD Chaurasia it was really difficult for me to visualize the muscles and the origin and in insertions um, for me personally so I would also like to recommend uh, Gray's Anatomy only for the musculoskeletal systems. Now talking about neuroanatomy, uh, Vishram Singh's uh, neuroanatomy is more than enough and you don't need to refer to any other book uh, other than this for neuroanatomy just going through this book thoroughly is more than enough for you to understand neuroanatomy. Uh, now, since anatomy is uh, all about visualization, ATLAS is a must and the gold standard ATLAS is the Netter, ATLAS of Human Anatomy by Netters and um, for dissection purposes, uh, Cunningham's Manual of Practical Anatomy and the McMinn's Clinical Atlas of Human Anatomy can be used. Uh, since we need to dissect the body and um, uh, Cunningham's Manual, uh, it contains the precise incisions uh, we need to give to dissect the body and this McMinn's atlas it contains real cadaveric pictures so we can uh, compare our cadaver with the pictures given in the book and study it comparatively and other atlases are also available like the Gray's atlas of anatomy and um, anatomic uh, Rohan's uh, photographic atlas of anatomy but these are not required very much. Now talking about histology, um, the, there are two um, primary books, the IB Singh and the Diffier and the teachers they prefer the Diffier so uh, you can go with Diffier or uh, the simplified version which is the IB Singh, uh, any of them are okay. Uh, now for embryology, uh, Langman, uh, Langman's medical embryology is the gold standard obviously but uh, it, it is quite difficult to understand uh, so uh, you can uh, study uh, from the Vishram Singh's uh, textbook of clinical embryology as well but you should go through the pictures from the Langman's medical embryology because it might be asked in the OSCEs as well. Uh, now talking about the supplementary resources, uh, if you study the Gray's Anatomy uh, book, uh, the Gray's Anatomy for Students book, then you can supplement it with the uh, Gray's Anatomy flashcards. So, so it will be quite um, uh, beneficial to consolidate the uh, information you got from that book. And um, videos are always there. So the Ken Hub, the Auckland's video, Auckland's video uh, Atlas of Human An Anatomy, and the uh, Dr. Najib YouTube is always there and uh, if you need to get some more information then you can go for the big Gray's Anatomy book as well. Now, let's talk about physiology. So physiology is a very important subject and you should never try to take shortcuts for physiology because it is uh, it forms the core concepts uh, for your uh, later learnings as well. So the gold standard for physiology is always the Guyton and Hall but um, you, you should try to read it thoroughly but if you uh, are getting lost and you if you are 
um, having difficulties in understanding from this book then there is uh, an alternative for this book uh, which is the uh, southeast asian version of uh, southeast asian version of this guyton and hall itself it has more flow charts and um, pictures and uh, other diagrams so it might be easier to understand uh, and it might be the best alternative to the international edition now other um, some of them also follow the ganongs but it it is quite difficult uh, for the first timers to understand from the ganongs directly um, other options are uh, medical physiology by indu khurana this is also a very good book this is the indian uh, written by an indian author and uh, most of the teachers they make uh, slides and they also teach from this book and if you are short of time and if you are uh, if you have uh, very less time to study then you can also go for the gk paul and the sembulingam as well and uh, for the exams uh, our teachers recommended us this uh, book uh, called uh, physiology preparatory preparatory manual for undergraduates by vd joshi so this book is given in question answer format so it is uh, easy to revise um, before the exam so, so you can uh, uh, study from guyton and hall and you can uh, study uh, from this uh, vd joshi in the uh, just before the exams because it's not uh, possible to revise everything from guyton and hall now let's talk talk about the supplementary study materials for the physiology um, so the two most important supplementary uh, resources are the videos uh, by dr najib and ninja nerd i personally used the ninja nerd videos so it was very very effective so i would advise all of you to watch um, videos before studying any topic in physiology or any other subject so um, the two best video resources for physiology are dr najib and ninja nerd uh dr najib videos are quite long but the concepts he gives uh, is quite effective in long run as well so other resources are the physiology by costanzo and uh, the concise version of uh, version of this costanzo physiology is the brs series and if you are studying guyton and hall and you want to question yourself you want to practice questions then you can go for this guyton and hall physiology review book now talking about biochemistry uh, which is not the favorite subject of many students uh, one book is not enough for this as well as and there is not a not a single proper book uh, for biochemistry so we need to combine uh, two or three books now the top two books uh, that um, that will cover uh, the most of the needs are the lippincott's biochemistry and the biochemistry by satyanarayan from uh, from the lippincott's uh, we need to study the tables like uh, the table uh, the flow charts the flow chart for the glycolysis glycogenolysis krebs cycle and all and um, uh, rest of the theory portion will be covered by satyanarayan and you need to uh, be focused in class and uh, you need to uh, refer to your uh, class slides class notes as well because uh, there is uh, no single proper resource for biochemistry uh other resources are the um, biochemistry by vasudevan and marks uh, medical biochemistry as well um the, the supplementary resources are harper's uh, illustrated biochemistry which is a huge book and the uh, lecture notes by kaplan uh now let's talk about pathology for pathology uh, robins robins is the bible of pathology and you can never skip robins so uh, the teachers they teach from robins you need to study robins you will be asked in exams and viva from robins so robins is the bible so there are three varieties of robins this one is the large robin this one is the medium robins and this one is the small pocket robins so um the uh, the preference should be for the large robins and if it uh, if you find it uh, find it very difficult um, to study then you can go for the basic robins basic pathology which is the medium robins and you can supplement your learning with uh, the pocket robins as well uh, but you need to start you need to uh, go through this large robins which comes in two volumes and the supplementary resources are osmosis 
so osmosis has very amazing uh, videos which are just uh, 8 to 10 minutes long and it is a concise review of all the diseases and the pathology topics so you must not miss osmosis uh, and another resource is amboss so amboss uh, you can um, apply for the scholarship for amboss and you can just uh, install the app in your phone and just uh, look for uh, topics offline as well you can download the topics and just go through the topics offline as well and another amazing resource is the pathoma so pathoma comes in the pdf version and the video so you can uh, look at the videos and you can uh, and later go through the pdf in order to revise so this is uh, if i could go back to first year then i would definitely study from pathoma as well uh, other resources are the pathology by ramdas naik so this will be uh, more beneficial in the second year rather than the first year in first year you don't need to study from ramdas naik at all and other uh, resources are the video resources by ninja nerd dr najib and the uh, practice questions from the uh, robins and cotron review of pathology Talking about pharmacology, which uh, most of the students dread about, uh, K. D. Tripathi is the most um, commonly followed book, and this is the most relevant in our context as well. Uh, if you want to be uh, more cl clinically oriented towards pharmacology, then you can use this Bennett and Brown. Uh, for me, I personally used um, the Bennett and Brown and uh, this Mini Katzen and Shanbag as my uh, main books. And uh, you can also use this um, Katzen, uh, Big Katzen, but it's uh, not quite possible to complete this book um, because this is not the only subject you need to study. So you can refer to this book for the practical purposes and uh, when you need to choose the P drug and all, you can use, um, you can go through this book. Uh, other books are the Lippincott. Uh, this is also a good book, but this is not enough for our uh, level. And um, Shanbag is a good book for exams, but you should not make this your sole uh, sole book. You should uh, uh, study from other resources, and you can annotate the uh, the um, extra stuff in this book, and then use it for exam purposes. Uh, this mini Katzen is also a very good uh, book. Um, this uh, gives a zest of this uh, big Katzen. And uh, for uh, general concepts for uh, studying pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics, uh, this Sharma and Sharma is very good. So uh, you can use Sharma and Sharma to study the um, general concepts, and then you can um, study um, K D Tripathi, Bennett and Brown, and then you can supplement. Uh, you can annotate all those stuffs you learn in this Shanbag and use this Shanbag for exam purposes. Uh, other resources are uh, Goodman and Gilman. This is a huge book. You don't need to go through this and YouTube and sketchy pharmacology now talking about microbiology uh, the gold standard textbook is the Apurva Shastri uh, teachers also recommend Anantanarayan and P. Chakraborty, but these are big books and you don't need to go through all these hassle. Uh, so you can just follow Apurva Shastri for microbiology and KD Chatterjee and Panikers. Uh, they are the two options for um, parasitology, but I personally prefer KD Chatterjee. And uh, the supplementary study resources uh, include the clinical microbiology made ridiculously simple and uh, sketchy micro. So last but not the least, uh, the most uh, important and the most neglected subject is the community medicine. So one advice I would like to give is uh, don't neglect community medicine and just study it in a regular basis. Just 30 minutes would be enough uh, for community medicine. But uh, please be uh, consistent and regular for community medicine as well. Don't neglect it completely and just study for uh, during the exams. Uh, for community medicine, uh, before talking about the books, um, the class class notes and the class slides they are of utmost importance so please uh, pay attention in class and um, please ask for the teacher's slides and refer to them they are the primary resources for community medicine and you can also refer to park uh, you can refer to certain portions like the family medicine and the reproductive health and uh, the contraception and all and um, the nutrition part and even small portions of epidemiology from park uh, for biostatistics um, the um, class uh, class slides and uh, class notes are the most important and if your class slides if you are not getting class slides and if you are not paying attention in class then uh, this um, bias methods and biostatistics uh, by BK Mahajan. This is the gold standard. And if you want to know a bit more about epidemiology, 
immunology then uh, epidemiology by leon cordis is the way to go and you should always stay updated with the government programs and the um, you should always check out the government website and also you can also go through the annual health report now last but not the least uh, the additional resources for all the subjects so since the world is moving towards the evidence based medicine you you should always stay updated with the current literature so even if you have zero interest in research and you don't know anything about research you should uh, you can just go to the search engines like pubmed and google scholar and just uh, search for the um, interested uh, for the topic uh, you are interested in and just uh, study um, the latest literature what are the latest guidelines and all and uh, one last resource i would like to talk about is the anki anki is a flashcard software so this is uh, made for active recall and spaced repetition so you can either make your own um, uh, anki flashcards which is quite hectic and you will not have the time to do so uh, so you can just um, go to the anki website and go to the shared decks uh, part and then you can um, search for the um, uh, flashcards you require and there are um, so many hundreds and thousands of uh, medical flashcards available already made by someone else so you can just uh, install it in your phone and in your laptop and just go through the anki flashcards now last but not the least uh, don't compare yourself and your learning with your friends and you've got this <laughs> thank you so much for watching the video and see you in the next one